Welcome back to the channel guys. Just going to give you a quick preview of my BIOS and the settings I'm using. As you can see, I'm using the MSI Z790 carbon Wi-Fi, and I'm using this BIOS version. This was the BIOS that was shipped with the motherboard. And this was dated for the 15th of November, 2022. As you can see, I'm running 5.9 gigahertz and 7466 megahertz. I'll show you my settings now. So 5.9 on all the P cores, 4.5 on all the E cores, 5.1 on the ring um so the 5.9 is uh adjustable by um turbo velocity boost so it will drop down to 5.8 when you're between 58 and uh, 74 degrees and then it will drop down to 5.7 when you exceed 74 degrees so um it's like a kind of custom tuned one that i've made which helps me get the most out of my cpu and gaming scenarios now in terms of my uh, memory says you can see I'm using gear 2 at 7466 megahertz at gear 2 uh, 1.360 volts to stabilize my my overclock for the memory I'm using 1.460 volts as you can see the uh, CPU system major voltage is 1.306 and that's at auto so I didn't really charge it because it, it's fine you can put it to 1.350 even though that's pretty high that might help stabilize things I use, I leave the VDDQ to normal but you can put the this voltage a little bit up higher if you need to it might help stabilize things and in terms of my ram timings see i'm using 2n 34 44 44 44 28 i didn't bother the trfc2 or the trfc trfc pb because i couldn't adjust them much below the uh the xmp speed so i just left them at xmp but i did i did adjust a few other sub timings, so I'll just quickly show you those now. That is pretty much it in terms of the timings I, I adjusted. There's a lot there that you can manipulate, but I didn't really go too too deep into it. But that is pretty much it um, for my daily settings. Hopefully, this has helped out. Please don't just copy my settings, by the way, I've got an incredibly um enhanced cooling solution for my cpu and um that will pretty much make very almost every single ai uncomfortable at this voltage so i wouldn't copy those settings unless you've got the cooling as for the memory the memory is fine but over 1.5 you may want to have active active cooling which i have so just bear that in mind okay so that is pretty much it hopefully you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching